Hello there, thank you for stopping by. I appreciate it, and I appreciate you. Welcome back to Vampire the Masquerade Redemption, that's a mouthful, where we have just defeated a Tsimishi, although I don't think Christophe knows that. Yes, he did. She did say it, I think. Yes. Anyway, we defeated that one. Still don't think she's dead, because this is in the 12th century, where vampires were still pretty strong in the generations. Not like the when you when you play the game in the normal times and you're like, what, 12th or 13th generation? Kind of weak, comparatively. So I think she is alive. Kristoff doesn't know that, though. I checked the manual a little bit and found out that these, uh, they don't matter for me. They are for my coterie or party later on. Regroup. Neutral stance. See, they follow me. Defensive stance. They do something and something else. Whatever. That, that's not for me. Uh, also found out that you can actually control the camera with the uh, numpad keys. Which I incidentally have uh, bound to my mouse at all times, so I can control it a little bit like this. There's the up and down will be a little bit more of a... But I can do forward and uh, back. Not forward and back, but left and right. I can also do this. I can actually look around in first person to see if I miss anything. But we are um, going to return to the city. Uh, because there's nothing else for us to do here. So I guess I will just run back to the city and I will... An amulet of St. Jude. Tis an omen. If I redeem so holy a relic from this ungodly tomb, surely the saint shall grant me his favor. Maybe you should do that up to the Silver of Mines 1. Okay, so... That's nice of you, game. Allow me to go back all the way to the Silver Mines 1 instead of going through Silver Mines 2 and then 1. Now, if only I can... <clears throat> Find my way out of here because it's still dark as hell. Uh huh. I think I see some sunlight. Oh, well, that was easy. I thought that would take way longer. I have a lot of stuff I kind of want to sell. Gonna keep, gonna keep the stakes. Always keep the stakes. Also, thank you. Right, have to remember all the six squares. This square is not free. Keep the stakes, because we're fighting vampires. As I think we have... If I left click, yeah, left click. Always run. If I hold space, just look around. Which I guess is good if I don't want to move, I guess, because I guess the... And there I go with the Q again. Menus! Thank you. <laughs> anyway, it's still day. So we can go back into Prague. Hopefully without issues. Oh. No, you didn't move. Hello, people? Okay, bye. Who comes there? Ah, the Crusader ends his day in retreat. Back for another rest in the nunnery? All of Prague may rest. I have claimed the head of the Demon Queen. Praise be to Christoph, champion of Frog. Claim the head of the Demon Queen, but you're not carrying her head. Again, I very much doubt she is dead. Only did slashing damage. So I am supposed to return to St. Thomas. To <laughs> Escape to go back to speak with Archbishop Giza. Um, in the four stags, do we have some kind of weapon shop or something where I can sell superfluous equipment? Because my inventory is a little bit full. No. Can I can I sell it to the barkeep? Does the innkeeper taketh mine uh, superfluous weapons and uh, give me some silver for it? Blacksmith, that might be something. Ah, 
smithy. Now I may replace my war weary armor. Maybe I should have actually um, investigated the town uh, before I went out. Um, you have decent armor. That's kind of powerful music for a blacksmith. <laughs> Hail, good smithy. The bells of Prague do ring out your victory, Christoph. The whole city prizes your handiwork. And I prize thine. Yes, prize thine. Oh, we do have armor. Uh, can you... Click here to buy item. Okay, so sell item. Good. Don't need the broadsword. Uh, exquisite dagger, twenty lethal. Sell the torch. Three, three silver. Sure. Moro dagger. I, I think the exquisite dagger is the one I need to keep. Go. Can't rearrange my inventory. Let's see, I have padded clothing, leath, lethal, everything 10. Padded clothing. Leather armor. Mmm, that would be nice. Maybe a skull cap? I do have a shield, 15, 15, 10. 10, 10, 10. Warhammer. Mmm. Minimum 55 strength. I did look up the attributes too. So yeah, strength does increase melee damage, and also, as we can see, some weapons have uh, minimum strength requirements. Dexterity, basically, uh, movement, swiftness, accuracy, like I thought, a little bit, and um, projectile weapons? I haven't seen any crossbows or bows yet, so I guess I... Oh, wait a minute, here's a crossbow. Okay, so dexterity helps with crossbows. And stamina, constitution, health. Soaking damage. The um, other ones, um, what was it? Perception, intelligence, wits. Perception just, it said, oh, that helps you look your, your, through your surroundings. Okay, and they are also very important for higher disciplines, which we will get later on then, because we're going to become a vampire eventually. I don't know how or when or where, but we're going to become a vampire. Because we have disciplines down here. Um, wits also helped if you had high wits you didn't go into frenzy as often which is good because I think frenzy was basically something if you took enough damage you had a chance to become frenzy and you couldn't really control your actions then which is bad if you want to keep up the masquerade and then we had the social ones that were, all, were also for discipline I think manipulation was also for uh, lowering the cost of uh, buying stuff. And uh, was it charisma or was it appearance? I don't remember now. Basically, how good looking you are and it helps with the presence discipline. So now we know. Let's see, I have 557 gold. I kind of want to buy so let, let's let's settle for something uh, settle for the cheap ones some armor is better than no armor thirty lethal accuracy twenty five speed one hundred and eleven scimitar I think I'm... Ooh, I didn't scroll down enough. Flamberge. 45 lethal. <gasps> Same accuracy, lower speed. Lower accuracy, lower speed, but 45. Mm, mm. I can actually afford that one. I have a fine repair already. Exquisite broadsword. I mean, five less damage, but I basically keep my... Uh, lose a little bit of accuracy, but 
keep the speed. If you have two exquisite broadswords, why are they not next to each other? Eh. Fine. Lance? Sure, we're a crusade. We can go around with the lance. Then eh, I'm more of a one-handed kind of guy, though. Oh. Max 60 humanity. Oh, okay. Why is the blacksmith selling stuff that requires some maximum humanity? That's kind of suspicious. That's a little bit suspicious. That's very suspicious. I mean, sure, I get kind of the Blessed Maze and Blessed Half Plate because we're in Prague and there's a convent nearby and there's an Archbishop and everything. But selling something like this? I'm gonna keep my eyes on you, G Giri, Gigi, whatever your name was. Do I want the exquisite broadsword or the fine flamberge? I think I want. I want. Preventing. Prevent further cumbrance. Damn it! You have my hand on it. Tis a deal. No. But. <laughs> It's not escape to close things, it's backspace. Or the same button that you used to open it. Good day to you, young sir. Thank you. Good day to you too. I want your flying, fi flying flamberge. Flying flamberge. Oh, that looks nice. Take my uh, repair, thank you. It is okay. now done. And uh, too late to regret what I've done. Well, that is, that is a fine flamberge. Thank you, sir. So here, I can sell stuff here. That's good. Good to know. I'm gonna save it. We're, we're in Prague now. We cannot save over slot one. Yes. Prague's old town. No shortcut there. So just run to the convent. Should be here to the right. That's a prison. Past the inn. And uh, this way, I think. Remember, remember you two guys. We said we were both French and we kick ass. Is Yon Archbishop hiding? By the way, I uh, don't need this. And I'll keep a live rat in my storage. <laughs> there you go. Is he upstairs then? No. Um, St. Thomas Cathedral. This is just the convent. Okay, so I have to find the cathedral. And the cathedral would be... I'm guessing this, this is the cathedral. That kind of looks like it could be a cathedral. We're actually going to go through town. Uh, go right, go left. Go right, right, left, right. Right. And hey. You all walk around like you, you've you injured your arms. Or is it just cold? Maybe it's cold. We're in Prague after all. And right. Is this right? This could be right. This is not right. This is the wrong right. This That was not the right right. This is the right right. That was the wrong right. Yes. Judith Bridge. Also, wait a minute. I picked up the Amulet of St. Jude, but I don't have it in my inventory. On Judith Bridge. Can I? 
no, I can't. I can't run around while in first person. Okay, but I can't. Can I click and then? Yes. <laughs> Guessing this is the golden lane. I don't want to go to the golden lane. I think. Excuse me, sirs. Um. Oh, that's the castle. So is this uh, Mon Perrin Hill Monastery? Petrin Hill Monastery. Am I? Am I? Do you have s several monasteries? Because I wanted Saint Thomas Monastery. This does not seem to be the right monastery. Wait. Locked. Damn it. It's not even open for a crusader such as myself. Also, is there anything... Can you find secrets if you explore around? No. Okay. Another. So this is not the correct monastery. The convent was not correct. The other way was a castle. But maybe I can go get into the castle. Maybe the, maybe the monastery is in the castle. Maybe. Maybe the guards know. Will you let me know the castle is locked? Um, well, Golden Lane. That's the only way I haven't been. Golden Lane. Petron Hill Monastery. We have we also have this part of town, I guess. The monastery could very well be in here. Is there anything there that looks like a monastery? No. This is just the university. I'm not supposed to go there. Unorna's shop. Shop of a gypsy witch. Dare I enter such a place? Don't be superstitious, Christoph. Of course you do. Wait a minute. I recognize that symbol. I don't remember what it stands for, but I recognize it. I bid ye welcome and sing. Your praises for the slaying of Azra, the unliving. Without thy lore, I could not have slain her, so I thank thee for thy wise counsel. But Azra said many things that did shake my soul. I would have benefit of thy lore. Ask thy questions. Ask thy questions? It sounds like I should have gone here first. <laughs> because... Obviously, Kristoff has already talked to her, without my knowledge. Yeah, do you know the Tsimish? Tsimishi? Whatever? How do you pronounce it? Know thou of the Zimitsi? Zimitsi? Of the thirteen Ooh. great vampire clans. The fiends of Clan Zimitsi be the most vicious. They come from the dark... Carpathian Mountains, where ancient evil slumbers. They seek to rule mortals as cattle, and abduct us from the streets at night. They cruelly craft the flesh to fashion monsters, which they call Shlakta. To extend their rule into daylight, they do corrupt mortals with wealth and power and their own demonic blood. When the mortal servants do drink the blood of their masters, they become ghouls that live forever. So long as they drink each day their daily blood. In the oldest ghoul lineages, like the royal premiser family, Children are born as revenants. Mortals, born with vampiric blood coursing in their veins. 
Drink the vampire's blood and you become a living ghoul. Is that only for the Simichi? 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 I already forgot the pronunciation. Simichi! Then, because I seem to remember that you could... You could drink... Um, uh, maybe... No, that's for vampires, actually. If you drank from another, another or an elder vampire's blood three times, you basically became bonded to them? Ah, yeah. The Methuselah, Methuselah of Visserad. Know thou of the Methuselah of Visserad? Methuselahs are among the most ancient and powerful of all vampires. Alas, I know nothing of the Methuselah of Visserad, save that Visserad Castle is the foul heart of the evil Zemitsi vampire clan. But don't you be going there, young one. Even an army of thy sword brethren could not dislodge such if. Tsimitsi. I will probably forget how to pronounce that. Pronounce? Pronounce it? Pronounce that. Also, Schlachter. Th that's... Th that's always gonna sound weird. I'm only gonna think of butchers when I hear that. Which is kind of fitting, I guess. What she means she by Knight, a vampire, my dude. She means a vampire. What means she by Knight? So every mother's child knows of vampires. Very few know they are descended from Cain and raised by the first woman created by God. Do not blaspheme so about Adam and Eve. Ha! <laughs> not Adam and Eve. Adam and Eve. Lilith. Lilith was Adam's first wife, and a spirited woman was she. <laughs> now, Adam wanted Lilith to serve under him, and Lilith spurned such bumpkin courtship, <laughs> leaving him for the company of angels and devils. So, God did fashion Eve, who was meek and mild, but their children were far from gentle. When Cain slew his brother Abel, God cursed Cain, saying that the food that grew of the earth would no longer sustain him. Only blood, like the blood he spilled from Abe, would slake his thirst. Lilith found the outcast Cain and taught him to harness the powers of heaven and hell. God made Cain the first vampire, and Cain made all the rest by preying on the descendants of Seth, Adam's third son. And so, all vampires are called Cainites, but only by those who know more than the church tells. I cannot pay heed to such strange notions. You will heed me. If you would hurt them. Important distinction between this cane and our cane. This cane has an E at the end, even though they did miss an E at one of the names. So it's same, but not really the same. And this was Lilith, Adam, Eve. Hmm. So... What lore hast thou of these demons? The vampires do prey on mortals, but they do save their real hatred for other vampires. The thirteen great vampire clans are forever at war. Clan against clan, elder against children in a fearsome jihad. They do shake the world to its foundations with their hate and twist up the destiny of mortals into their dark tapestry. Which is basically where the Masquerade and the Camarilla and the Sabbat can't come in. It's nice to get a little refresher on the lore. Also, in this universe, God was kind of stupid. <laughs> he made Cain a vampire. Why? Why would he make him a vampire? 
Why would you make him able to sustain himself on blood? God created the vampire plague. Plague, you know, you know what I mean with plague. So God in this universe is kind of an asshole. I thank thee. Oh, you. Oh, I can buy healing items here. I see. I don't have to, you know, um, rely on finding them tucked away in weird caverns. So much money. Non-human. She actually sells stuff for vampires. Stake protection, 100. I'm gonna want that later one. Decreases wears frenzy rating. Holy water. At least she sells stuff for both sides. <coughs> I'm sorry. Go with God, young one. And be sure to be within the warmth of a hearth when the sun falls. For the foes you have seen are but a small part of the wickedness that walks the streets of Prague by night. I shall send all such wickedness back to hell. I was about to say, yeah, Christoph the Crusader, he's not gonna let that stand, is he? Also, I, re I realized why the this is so familiar, because it kind of reminds me of the vampire symbols in Soul Reaver. Even though I haven't played that game for years and years and years, never beat it either. But it does kind of remind, remind me of those, of those clans. Can I? No, I can't be a dick and steal things. Okay. This was not the monastery. Uh, it was nice to get a little refresher on the lore. Like I said, I, I did read so much lore when I did play the tabletop back in the day. I have forgotten quite a bit of it. So it's nice to get a little refresher. I don't... Pharmacy? I don't think there's a monastery this way. So the other side then? The right side of Prague? Northwest, northeast of the old town. Excuse me, excuse me. Crusader coming through. I wonder, does the does the time work in real time or is it scripted? Probably, probably scripted. Mm -hmm. Must be up here somewhere. Oh! It continues to run even after I put up the map. Good. Good game. Thank you, game. Good. Very good game. Uh, so, left and then straight until I can actually go left. Now that's a dead end. Remember that. Aha. Uh -huh. Northern. Return to St. Thomas Cathedral to speak with, speak with the Archbishop Giza. I'm starting to believe that the cathedral is not even in this town. Also, I should say. can't go in there. Wait, uh... Doi! The cathedral was right next to the convent. <sighs> but hey, at least that little detour um, found me the blacksmith and found me the gypsy woman. So where I can... Uh, Buy some healing salves. She will become rich. I will buy so many healing items from her. I am newly returned from the silver mines. The evil therein is no more. The splendor of the Lord rains down upon thee, Christoph. I give thee this wrought silver cross for thy labors. Thank you. I would hear all thou knowest of vampire lore, that I might fight them more wisely. 
They are evil. evil. That is all thou need knowest. I do not corrupt my soul with knowledge beyond that. <sighs> I thank thee. Knowledge cannot corrupt, my dude. Only the usage of knowledge in the wrong way can corrupt y your soul. But knowing stuff will not corrupt you. Oh. I think uh, dear Kristoff is, uh, is, is a little bit sweet on Aneska. <sighs> so, uh, I know that these whispers are probably supposed to resemble people praying and stuff, but it, it ju it's just creepy. Oh, nice reflections. Ooh. Okay, you... Hurrah! Hurrah for Kristoff! The mines are safe again. I'll hail the crusading hero of Prague. Hurrah! Hurrah! We thank thee for restoring the mines. We finally have new silver to craft and sell. God bless thee, Sir Kristoff. My heart warms to see the good people rejoice so. And yet Osra's words chill me to the core. I fear that evil endures in rock. I am still 100% convinced she is not dead. Okay, convent. Cathedral. Then we have a monastery up here. Castle. Health potions and lore. Unorna. Unorna. Bridge and a locked town. University. That has books that I cannot read. Let's uh, let's talk with Aneska then. Good morrow, my lady. Good morrow, my lord. We give thanks that the mines are restored to godly condition, and we rejoice to see thee in health after such danger. Yet there is danger in health, for I must forego thy tender ministrations. My lord. Yet now I suffer a new affliction. For which thou hast the only cure. I shall serve thee in any way I can, my lord. I desire... I have retrieved a sacred relic, my lady. The amulet of St. Jude. I wouldst give it thee, my lady, for thy devoted care. I take no gifts. The lord's work is favor enough. It is the dearest of all I have. And thou art the dearest of all I have not. Please, keep this for my sake. 12th century flirting. <laughs> also, here, take this amulet I found on the way out of the mines. It's the most precious thing I have. <laughs> oh, Kristoff. Never change. Um, again, I got the silver cross from uh, uh, Giza. But it's not in my inventory. I guess they don't want to clutter my inventory too much. Do I have a key items thing somewhere? Oh. So yeah, these um, basically has to do with the disciplines and frenzy. I uh, think these probably do something else and uh, also uh, uh, disciplines. Shopkeeper and uh, using presence. So combat, disciplines, kind of disciplines, kind of social interactions. We have a hun We have a 70 humanity out of a max 100. Okay, so I, w I want to switch those numbers around. Maybe you only have 70 humanity, Kristoff. Aren't you a crusader? Maybe, maybe, maybe that's why you only have 70 humanity, because you are a crusader. Uh, what do we want me to do now? Um... We don't know. We have done everything. Talk to her again. Oh, sir. I pray that the light of the Lord fill thy body with strength and vigor. Well, I could rest. Do I get my health back if I rest? That's how I level. Okay, so if I want to level, I go rest. 
instead of waiting for a mil milestone in the game. Gotcha! It does not reset my health. Well, briefly. <clears throat> uh, good day, Archbishop Giza. Explain thy intentions toward good sister Ineska. I command thee to speak only truth before God. I find her the fairest of all God's creatures, and bemoan the cruel fate that hath placed her beyond my reach. In another time and place, we might have found happiness together as man and wife. Such thoughts are evil. Thy concupiscence damns thy soul and dooms Ineska. I command thee, purge such lusts from my heart. If not for thy sake, then for hers. Do not tempt her away from her holy orders, thou wicked, selfish boy. She is out of thy star and is not for the likes of thee. Her place is with me, with us, here in the convent. And thy place is out in the wilderness, striking the fear of God into the hearts of the heathen. If thou art strong enough to entertain such lusts, thou art strong enough to return to thy regiment. Alas, they are too far away. Hmm. Well, the streets of Prague are still host to unclean demons. Perhaps thou shouldst destroy these abominations to expend some of thy hot blood. I must protest. My place is here. The demon queen confessed they sought to defile holy places. Tis my duty to protect these hallowed grounds when next they attack. Thy archbishop shall dictate thy duty. Hunt them in the streets. <sighs> I obey. With a with a caveat. I obey, but I shall protect the streets in front of the cathedral and convent as well. Hmm. I shall be watching thee, thou immoral lad. What are you calling immoral? Sundown. <coughs> okay, so I did notice that there's kind of a flickering this a second or two delay. When the game chooses to choose uh, show a cutscene, there's nothing I can do about that. I'm afraid. Uh, that's just the way the game is. And uh, yeah, the 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 Archbishop, um, he he wants an Esca for himself. Who's immoral? Okay, defend uh, all of Old Town from creatures that prowl by night. Ba -bum, ba -bum. We are uh, the convent. Go this way. Are we gonna find some more schlachters? So we can butcher them? Oh, Poor guards. You're out here. I mean, yeah, that, that's their job and all, but are they gonna be able to Kill the undead abominations that stalk the streets of Prague at night? Slakta! I'm gonna slakta you! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe you shouldn't be outside, good people. Yes, and I saw there was someone over there. What do you mean? Oh no. For the love of God, I, I don't see anything. What are you afraid of? I'm a righteous crusader. I am uh, slacking the slack us. You don't have to be afraid of me, fair maiden. I guess she is. Okay. I, I, I'm, I'm sorry for protecting you. Here. <laughs> Ooh, more money. Uh, this leads to the 
Yep, northern corner. Still not allowed to go there. Who struck this down? Right, maybe I should actually tell my phone to um, uh, shut it the hell up it. Come on. There we go. Mute. Much better. It interrupts my schlucking. Hello, sir? Rats? No, let's pick up some rats. Going? Going? Fine. The smith is in full swing. More rats. I'm just uh, collecting rats for later. Because they did give blood, yes? Yes. I'm going to need them eventually. Again, we all already know we're going to become a vampire at some point. We just don't know when. And I guess that's where the redemption part comes in. I guess, because we're a crusader, and then we become an unholy vampire, so we have to make amends in the eyes of God or something? Okay, this, I have patrolled the old town now. This is the new town with a castle and everything. They don't need my protection. Are you doing okay? You can buy my dirk for now. Good day to ye, young sir. Good day to ye. Can I sell a rat? I can't sell a rat. <laughs> that would have been a little bit funny. She's a deal. Um, well, I, I guess I'll go to Judith Bridge. Because there are no more monsters to slay here. And I am itching for some slaying. <coughs> Maybe they congregate, congregate around the monastery? Knowing that that's where people seek comfort. We can also go to Golden Lane. I should go to Golden Lane first. Since it's closer. You seem to be doing alright over here. Yep. You even have a... it's well lit and you even have a guard with a lance going around. Or is that a spear? I never really understood the difference between a lance and a spear. I guess a spear is more for... actual ground combat and a lance may... maybe that's more for cavalry? I mean, I don't even know the difference... if I look at it in... my own language, so whatever. Petron Hill is a weapon. It's a range weapon. Not range, distance weapon. There are not a lot of things to kill around here. I found two things that stalked the night. The monastery is still locked. Okay. I, I declare the Petron Monastery safe. I declare the castle place safe. Also the Golden Lane. Can't get into the northern part of Prague. And the old town of Prague is safe. Uh, though I haven't gone all the way to the um, uh, city gate, thank you, where I went to the mines. So I guess I can look over there. And if there's nothing there, I'll just head on back to the convent. Wish me sure. Yeah, that goes to the northern part of town. You were screaming a bit here. Maybe, is, is there someone in the university, perhaps? Let's let's check outside first. Have you seen any weird abominations stalking the streets? 
No. All right. Keep up the good work. I will uh, go to the university. <laughs> It's the university, the convent, and the monasteries. Okay, it's locked. Which makes sense. Why would a university be open at night? Kinda does look like I can go down there, but I can't. To the convent, we have to make sure that uh, dear sister Aneska is safe. The archbishop, eh. He has a staff, he can bludgeon someone with it. Oh, tis the little warrior. I bet you're soft and tender inside your tin britches. I'll eat your gizzard while it's still attached to your quivering body. This is thy payment for bringing final death to Azra the Unliving. Oh, we did bring her final death. Okay. <laughs> I didn't think we did. Within the convent, Aneska, I will protect thee. The Archbishop be damned. Alarms. Okay, so she is dead. I really didn't think that. I, I mean, what kind of vampire dies to slashing damage? Yes, to the convent. Protect. Sister Aneska, come on. Run, Christoph. Christoph, thou hast brought evil into this holy place. This taint follows thy soiled soul. Oh, shut up. Burns. Yeah, why did you go into a convent? She cow, vile purity. Burns like unto the sun. She cow. Back to the abyss, hell spawn. Thou art anathema in the eyes of God. Die and be damned. Away with thee. We forbid thee to defile this holy place. I'm sorry, but she cow aren't all cows she's Strike them, Christoph. Oh. Strike them, Christoph. I am victorious. I am once again in thy death, brave sir, for coming to us in our time of need. As I am in thy debt. For saving my life with thy tender care, and for thy uncommon valor in standing with me against the forces of hell. I pray, my lord, that thou art always near to deliver us from this evil. Milady, I pledge my arm to thy cause for as long as I draw breath and beyond. Then I have faith in the safety of our humble convent. And beyond. The skill is great. And he fights with the strength of a demon. His courage has opened the minds again. Think how the gift of Cain would enhance the might of such a man. Aye. He has done great service to the Promethean cause by dispatching Azra without our involvement. But this decision must be made with surpassing care. Vampire plot? With so many of us missing, we need his sword in the coming tumult. The other clans are surely considering him for the embrace by now. No doubt. But hast thou forgotten the power the Church wields over the minds of these mortals, Cosmas? His faith is the strength behind his steel. Stripped of his faith, would he be of any use to us, I wonder? He has been cut from the herd by his wound. He's been separated from the heart of his sword brethren by many miles, like any stray. He is more malleable. He may bend rather than break. Thou art wise, Cosmas. How well thou knowest the hearts of men of war. Yet, I am not convinced. The Premisils are enraged at his continuing interference in their plans. I have learned that they have now placed a rich bounty upon his head. He'll not outlive the next moon. Get thee to the Prince, and tell him that this night Ekaterina the Wise awakens another into darkness. Thy will is done. And Cosmas, should this Kristoff falter or fail, he must fall. Lady Ineska, I must speak with thee. Hush, 
lest thou rouse the convent with thy clamor. I have wandered the city for hours, yet each turn of the streets did lead me back here. My lord, tis dusk. Thou shouldst not be out of doors. Fiends shall soon be legion. I would fight all fiends of hell to stand at thy door. And, and how may our holy order assist his lordship this eve? Milady, thou must hear me. I sought to tell thee once before, but fear took my voice. What power could daunt the man who hath faced demons from hell? The face of an angel from heaven. Oh, my lord, I... Thou hast stuck me a wound that heals not. My life's blood pours out before me and I cannot stench it. I do love thee, Faranesca. I do love thee with a passion I have never known. My lord, I must protest. Such love is an affront to heaven. If thou deny me, I am undone. I... I cannot deny thee. I too am afflicted with a wound for which thou art the only cure. Ah. Uh. My soul fell when first I beheld thee, and now my heart is cleft in twain. My love of God and my love of thee have torn me to ribbons, for I must betray one to keep faith with the other. Thus my sins do pour out before me, for I have spilt my wickedness upon thy innocent bosom. Nay, tis my wanton desire that hath ensnared thy virtuous heart. I was a fool to confess my heart to thee. Gladly would I imperil mine own soul, but never thine. Then truly we are lost. Our souls are beyond all hope of redemption. My lord, look thou at the locket thou didst give me. Tis the locket of St. Jude, the patron saint of lost causes. Thus fate makes a bitter mockery of our plight. Say not so. Where the saints tread, hope follows. Mayhap St. Jude shall bring us hope past all hope. I pray we find a way. I pray so too. Thy hopeful words have filled my heart with courage, and I can leave satisfied. Farewell, fair Aniska. Nay, the streets are not safe at night. Thou must stay here in the convent till the sun shines again. May God have mercy upon my soul, for the devil has just placed into my heart the most impure of notions. I do tremble to confess it. But I feel I would cast away all holiness to stay. I would exchange an eternity of heaven's bliss for one night by thy side. Uh, oh, know thee that thou art not alone in such desires. Then truly, I am damned. I am condemned for my lust. But I must not drag thee into the abyss with me. I must flee this holy place and return no more. My lord, come back! And out he ran! Ooh, he's really running. Stuff is, stuff is happening. Ekaterina told Cosmos to go to the prince. And I believe a prince is basically the vampire ruler of an area. Not, usually not an actual prince. Thou struggles nobly. I love such passion. A lesser man could not even speak in my grasp. What art thou? A demon sent from hell? I am here to save thee, Kristoff. To deliver thee from thy mortal shackles. By the power of the Lord Eternal, I banish thee from my presence. Poor child. Thy faith died long ago. Amidst a dread battle, thou came to know thy true nature. Thou art a killer of men no matter how thou dost try to justify thy deeds. Thou kills not when compelled by God, but when ordered by men. Now come to me. 
I am the mother of thy rebirth. I know thy ways, demon, and I have lore enough to kill thee. Nay, thou art helpless in my hands as a naked babe. Nay! And thus are we become a vampire. Nice, but which clan are we? Because we didn't get to choose. Also, that cosmos water. guy. Aneska, water, I beg of thee. I thirst. I starve. He kind of looked like he was wearing Roman armor. Yeah, that guy. I am Ekaterina the Wise. Ekaterina the Promethean. Ekaterina... The leader of the Bruja clan. Oh, Bruja. We are the children of Cain. And now, thou art one of us. Was it Bruja? God have mercy on my soul. I am damned. I've always said Bruja. Steady now, whelp. Thou lackst the strength to fight, and I would slice thee in twain without hesitation. You and what sword? Thou must feed, my child, before the hunger overtakes thee and drives thee mad. <sighs> Just don't drink everything, you don't want to commit diablery. Am I now a miserable demon? Stealing blood to live? Damned and cursed to hell? Is this all that remains of noble Kristoff? Nay, my child. There is far more to thee than ever before. Thou art Bruja now. We Bruja are the philosophers of Cain's lineage. Where other clans treasured gold and trinkets, we sought pure wisdom. We strove to unravel the thorny knots that bind the very gates of heaven. Are we damned? Nay, we are exalted. In fabled Carthage, we lived in concordance with all mortals. Together we sought the secrets of Eden, that the children of Cain and the children of Seth would be raised up. But the hated Ventru grew jealous of our power. The Patrician clan betrayed us and tried to destroy us. We survived, but fabled Carthage did not. Despite this great loss, we Prometheans continue our search for harmony with all mortals. We are the most noble of our breed, Christoph. We seek only the fulfillment of the dream that was Carthage. But we need thy help to achieve this goal. A war lies ahead. A terrible battle that calls for warriors like us. Wars among devils do not concern me. We will cause thee to think otherwise, whelp. Enough, Cosmos. The Bruja blood needs time to cool. Come, let us leave our young one to think upon his situation. But know this, Kristoff. Thou would have been killed or embraced by our enemies on this night. We have given thee life eternal, and awakened thee to the true face of thy world. I do not expect gratitude, but our clan requires loyalty or death. Huh. There is no life in me. Even my heart has ceased to beat. My very soul has been stripped from me. There is nothing left for salvation. Damnation. Thou needs must pledge fealty to thy new mistress. Thou needs must. Okay, so Cosmas, Cosmas's dress. Well, not dress, dress, but you know, Cosmas's outfit kind of makes sense then if they were in Carthage. Uh, kind of makes sense why he looks like a Roman. Also, like I said, Bruja. I would have said Bruja, but sure, we can say Bruja. Bruja being scholars? I've always seen and heard them more like ruffians, tough guys. Basically, a hard ass people that is in it for the fight. Not 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 philosophers and scholars. Oh, that's 
That's a nice little, little tidbit. And the Ventru... The Ventru uh, betrayed them. Today's Ventru are basically... We're basically... I don't, I don't know how it is in the New World of Darkness. I've, I've never touched the New World of Darkness. I'm just going by the Old World of Darkness, which is fortunately enough when this was... Uh, when this took place. So... Today's Ventru are basically slick businessmen? Uh, I guess every every clan changed over time, except the Tsimichi. They, they are bastards. And I know I came down a little bit hard on the Tsimichi last time, saying that I kind of hated them and everything like that. The good kind of hate. They're kind of disgusting, they're creepy, they are so very vampire, so I... Love them, but I hate them, if you know what I mean. So we're now a Bruja. We will definitely get potency then. Because I think that's one of the main disciplines they have. Again. Eating people up. Okay, I need to swear loyalty to my mistress. I'm newly remade and know, know little of this world. I agree, agree only to follow thy lead for the present. I submit to thee in all things I am thine to command. I do not agree to serve thee. I, re I reject thee and shun thy evil works. I take my leave of thee. I mean, we're, we're a crusader. Who, like Ekaterina said, probably lost our faith because we only take orders from men and not God. So we're doing men's work. Like Archbishop Giza kind of uh, showed. We followed his commands to protect everything except he didn't even want us to protect the convent but we did that anyway and Kristoff may have lost his faith but he gained love and he promised to protect Aneshka even from beyond so I guess is that where the redemption comes in we're now vampire unholy but we might find our redemption in serving love Anyway, we're, still, we're, we're, still, we're, we're Christoph here. We're, we're not me. We're Christoph here. He has doubts. He has many doubts. So he will not submit to her in all things. He will, he will serve her for now because he does re recognize that he is new to this world and he needs to survive. It's either do this or die, and I don't think he wants to die. He wants to protect Aneska. So we will follow her lead for the present, until she can convince us otherwise. I am newly remade and know little of this world. I agree only to follow thy lead for the present. Such rebelliousness is unseemly in Abruja. I do not like such willfulness in my children. Maybe you should have embraced someone else then. As much fealty as can be expected from such a one, Ekaterina. He gets Very it. well, Cosmas. Then thou may hold his leash. We shall see if he takes instruction with more deference. Christoph, thou must understand that our enemies are legion, and none more vile than Clan Zamitsi, which infests Prague like a plague. The fiends seek thy death in payment for the slaying of Azra and her Schlachta servitors. If thou art to survive, thou must quickly master the powers of thy blood. Thou must pay heed to all our laws, or thou wilt become a gibbering monster like the Zemitsi. Our first law. Keep up the masquerade. Mistress Ekaterina, I crave thy indulgence. Kristoff oh. is a man of action. His learning shall be the greater on the field of battle than the parlors of the Prometheans. Let me take him on my mission to Garanal's Haven, where he may learn our ways firsthand. I could use a stout broadsword protecting my back. Flamberg. Kristoff is not yet ready. Verily, he is as ready as he shall ever be. I would have thy counsel, Cosmos. Christoph is no Bruja philosopher. His hot blood cools too much when he has no mission and curdles. Send him forth. If he survives, he will have mastered our ways. Very well. Christoph, go thou with Wilhelm Stryker. Trust what he says if thou wouldst outlive the night. Go, my swordsman and strike deep into the lair of our dear ally, Garanol the Cappadocian. Cappadocian? Time to cut thy teeth, fledgling. 
All right, we are now a Bruja, and we have disciplines. Look at that. Um, haha. Ooh, feed. Drains blood from targeted victim. Cast on enemy or friendly. Blood healing. Ooh, cast on self. Uh, blood strength increases strength. And we have one point in <coughs> all of these. Now we have someone in our coterie. Oh, we are not healthy or on we do not have much blood. Celerity. Here we go. Great. Grants enhanced movement and attack speed. Oh, celerity is nice. Can I, can I rearrange these? Yes, potents. Grants increased automatic damage. Yes. 20 blood. Oh. Charms target towards the user. The, the, the. Okay. I min 25 charisma. We. Can you lose charisma then? I, I mostly associate this one with uh, the Ventru presence, basically. Uh, can I change these? Because. Let's see, it was. F no one to six were those keys according to the manual these were f1 to f5 and then f6 to something f6 upwards were the members of my party okay so one for feed i don't want feed there i want healing there nice okay, let's let's Oh, put that one there. Potence. Uh, blood strength. Blood healing. Actually, no, let's put blood healing on two. Have feed on one, so we can always feed. Then, um, blood strength. I guess blood strength is... For all attacks, but I only have one attack, and I only have an automatic attack. So why would I ever use blood strength over potency? Yes, I'm gonna keep saying potency, even if the, the game says potence. I've been saying potency all my life. <laughs> oh, we have a frenzy now. We no longer have faith, we have frenzy. Christoph? Bru? Bruja? <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna say Bruja now and then. Generation 9. Okay, so... Kind of strong, but not really. Uh, Kane is basically Generation 1, because he's the original vampire. I think... Are Methuselah's Generation 5 and Antediluvians Generation 3? I think Antediluvians are old vampires who are basically... They're sleeping somewhere in the earth. They're in torpor. And just waiting for something to awaken. Either for someone to find them and awaken them, or for Cain to start the end of the world. And uh, new vampires, uh, when you play the tabletop, are either generation 12 or 13. Okay, okay. We're generation 9. We're, we're quite a strong vampire. Yeah, let, let's put um, Potence on 3. Celerity on 4. Then we have Blood Strength on 5. So I feed on 1, I heal on 2, I do more automatic damage on 3. Faster swings on 4. Strength on five and whatever always. There are slots for more disciplines. Am I gonna learn more disciplines? Well, I guess if I commit diablery, I might get more, 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 more disciplines. And diablery is basically when you. Attack and drink all the blood of an old, older vampire. Yo, that's also how you rise up in generations and become stronger. If I remember correctly. 
We're now a vampire. Yes, we will save this year. Yeah. We be vampires. Recover the nod. Nod fragments. Cross Judith Bridge and enter Petrin Hill Monastery. Find the Nod Fragment and bring it to Ekaterina. I'm trying to remember the the basically the book that talked about much about Cain. Wasn't that called the Book of Nod? Oh, <laughs> can I can I want to talk to you a little bit more? Can you can you give me more lore? Learn my lessons well. Do not disobey me, child. I haven't yet. You don't have to be so pissed off about it. Wait a minute, we're in the freaking university. What? The university is a vampire hangout? Okay. I guess that's why there wasn't much in here. Huh. Ekaterina is a scholar, not a warrior born. She would keep a fledgling studying vampire lore in her nest till Gehenna comes, and never hurl them from the nest to test their wings. But I cannot spend hours debating canine wisdom in a university. Give me a stout broadsword in my hand, and the sweet taste of my foe's blood on my tongue, and I have all the wisdom I need. And I suspect thou art akin to me. Oh yeah. I am not akin to thee, Blood Guzzler. I strike only those that deserve my steel. I do not murder the innocents to gorge on their blood. Thou shalt feed upon blood or thou shalt die. But thou need not kill to do so. Drink only so much blood as will sustain thee. Suffer thy prey to live on. For to kill during the feeding is to violate our Promethean ethic. And that way lies the beast. The beast? Mm -hmm. A beast born of Cain's sin doth coil within thy breast, Christoph. Keep it at bay, or be lost forever. Acts of cruelty unleash that beast, until it rules thee, as it rules many of Azra's kin. The beast made the madman? Nay, the mad vampires are called Malkavian. Shouldst thou oh, meet Malkavians. one, God help thee. Shouldst thou need his assistance, God cannot help thee. Nay, the beast is not mere madness, but demonic possession by the curse of Cain. We Prometheans are wayfarers in the land of the beast, but we stray not from the road of humanity, the Via Humanitas. By our acts of compassion are we saved from the jaws of the beast. Remember this always, or be devoured from within. So yes, we have sent to humanity. And if we kill during feeding, I guess the humanity will go down. And we will... I think it's easier to become frenzied the less humanity you have. And also the less humanity you have, the more... the less you look like a human. Also, Malkavians are awesome. <laughs> Very difficult to roleplay one, I think. I feel. But they are so much fun, if you get them right. <laughs> They're, they're, they're basically vampires that are born with an innate insanity. And they do not view the world like everyone else. They, they can be very dangerous, but they can also be, like I said, hilarious. Uh, we need to go to the, um, uh, the, 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 the Judith Bridge. So one rule be... Um, okay, let's, let's just go there, sure. One rule B, do not consume your prey when feeding. Leave them alive. Thou hast life everlasting, so long as thou keepest thy pallid flesh hidden from the sun's hateful rays. The life-giving sun only brings death to the likes of us. Each day we must retreat to our haven in the chambers below the university. Ah, okay. Now I can go there. Okay. Okay. So it's basically... There are two factions when it comes to vampire... Well, two large factions that I remember. The Camarilla and the Sabbat. Sabbat? Sabbat? Whatever. The Camarilla basically strives to 
Um, live side by side with humanity but hidden in the shadow. Thus, vampire the masquerade, because they keep up the masquerade to try and hide that vampires exist. Because they know that if humanity would learn the that vampires existed, we humans vastly outnumber the vampires and we would probably genocide them all. Not a single vampire would be alive. Unless, you know, um, we, we happen to stumble onto Cain or uh, find an antediluvian. <laughs> Uh, what was your name, William? William William Stricter? Stricter? He didn't mention Gehenna, which I think is the vampire's version of the apocalypse. Uh, that's basically when uh, Cain is rising up and uh, killing everything. Okay, I think we just saved, right? Um. How do I? I'm going to save again. I got to learn how I got I got to learn how to um uh use these disciplines. Why I have feed Do I just right click? Oh, I do. Oh, <laughs> look at Kristoff's face. I think that's And then right click to stop. Okay, maybe maybe I shouldn't have done that there, but now I now I know. Uh, right click to use disciplines. Do it uh, not. Uh, don't do it where people can see you. <laughs> hmm. Can I just? Yoink. Oh, mm. yum yum. Well, let's see. Uh... I have used up quite a bit. Ah, Non-kindred only. These are useless for me now. I can still use holy water, right? Is these... Uh, I guess I... I guess I'll go... Sell these? Ooh, I... I ooh, ooh, I wonder... I wonder if the... Um, the gypsy is gonna recognize that I'm a vampire now. Oh, I gotta go visit her. <laughs> Hello, do you remember me? I killed a vampire. I mean, I am now a vampire. <laughs> Can we still be friends? I gotta see. I gotta see. I gotta hear. Because I go to the right to meet her, and then... Actually, uh, let's see. Uh, F, F, F keys. Six for Kristoff, then? Haha. -ha. Ooh. Oh. Um. Oh, hello. Scroll of Awaken. Whatever that does. You um. You can. You can be a ranged dude, and you have a, you have a halberd. Oh, nice. Okay. Can I? Hey, I'm, I'm gonna steal two of your potions. Give me blood. Uh, oh, I guess this is this is where the um, uh, not that controls coterie AI options. Okay. Um, Use quick items only. So you only use what's on your hip, your quick bar, and does it does this prevent the items from refilling from your inventory then? Well, not not for me, but uh. quick. This ah oh, so, so also again so that they only use the ones that are in the hot bar. Discipline not bar, I think. Now, let's leave that. But it's fine. Uh, auto cast healing buff damage special. I get healing and I get buff and damage special. Oh. 
Yeah, there we go. Oh, large quick slots from backpack. This is for me. This doesn't seem to work because I have to hold the button down to attack. Because Kristoff just stops swinging if I don't hold the button down. I now have blood in. A, uh, I'm carrying around a bottle of blood. Faint. The hunger overcomes thee. The beast strengthens as thou weaken from lack of blood. Canst thou feel him uncoiling in thy heart? Thou must feed. Feed or die, Christoph. For I shall kill thee before I let the beast claim thee. Good. Uh, it's alright. I ate some rats before. Where did I come from? I came from there. I ate some rats before. It's okay. Oh, can I go back to the convent? Because I put a, put a rat in my... My chest there. These powers tempt me to dark acts. How easily could I rain devastation on all who vex me? Thy fear and thy power conspire to make of thee a beast. Seek thee an anchor for thy humanity, a rock to cling to when storms come. Aneska. Aneska. Haha. <laughs> Love for a mortal is the most dangerous of all anchors. I must see Aneska. That is most unwise. The cheerful world of daylight is lost to thee. Yeah. I must see her again, just to look upon her for a moment. Ekaterina would not be pleased. Oh, very well. Shouldst thou display valor on our mission this night, I shall take thee to the convent. Mm. But only for a moment to glimpse her as she sleeps. Now come, our mission lies ahead. I mean, sure, the, 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 the daytime is lost to me, but... Nothing says that Aneska can't become a night owl. Work nights. We can we can keep our love life going that way. Yeah. Yes, this is the one I wanted to visit. Oh, I'm allowed to go in. Hello, do you remember me? Hello, young <coughs> one. What is it you? But ho. Ho ho. You do look so strangely. Oh, they have hurt you. The canines have taken ye for their own. They have. Oh, my poor boy. But fear not. Unorna neither feels ye nor casts ye out. I'll help ye if I can. Thank you. And now she sells blood. <laughs> <laughs> oh, scroll of potents. In case I don't want to waste blood on oh, steaks. Yeah, uh, can you? Yeah. Sell these. Because I can no longer heal with healing potions. Uh, steaks could be good if I want to stake a fellow uh, vampire. Scroll of Awaken. What does it do? I don't know. Charges one. Vigor Mortis instead of Rigor Mortis. Ooh, ooh. Elder Blood. Mm. 100 Blood and plus 20 to all physical and mental attributes. Elder Blood is... Um, <coughs> sorry, very powerful blood. Blood pool plus 25, is that permanent? Ooh, fey blood. Increase frenzy plus 50, hell no! Serenity, decrease frenzy rating, blood pool plus 20, blood pool plus 10. So we can increase our blood pool by quite a bit. Perception 5, appearance plus 5. Blood Dexterity. Okay, so po potency then just increases auto attack damage, while blood strength actually increases strength strength. So it also increases my damage. Does potency and blood strength stack? Ooh. Aura Perception. Ooh. That, 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 that's why you don't want to uh, commit uh, diablerie 
That, that, it's a very forbidden thing, and um, if you do it, I believe it shows in your aura for those who can see it. You basically get, I think it's black streaks in it. And there are some people... Go with God, young one. <laughs> no, I will not go with God. <laughs> I'm not anymore. There are some hunters that specialize in, specialize in hunting down people who commit diablery because it's forbidden. I have a feeling we will actually do a bit of that. Uh, sure, let's save over the silver mines. Well, um, actually, I'm gonna leave this here. We have now... We protected old Prague. We have now become a vampire of the Bruja clan. And we learned that uh, the Simichi is actually dead. Good. Hopefully. I, I still have a hard time believing that. Also, remember to... Freaking... If I have... The game is going to take place in more locations, right? There's still, oh, there's still the whole northern part of Old Prague. Old Prague? Of Prague. Old Town? Of Prague. University Haven. Okay. But yes, yeah, look around whenever I find a new location because I could have gone here first and gotten some extra lore before I went into the mines. But I, I was, I think I was too eager to go into the mines and get doing some vampire slaying. We're still going to do vampire slaying, but we're a vampire now. So, anyway, leaving this here. Like I said in the beginning, thank you for stopping by. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it and I appreciate you. I do hope you take care of yourself, and I wish you nothing but the best.